כבוד יותר, הנחה, הבנתי את הזכות של סרט של ביני, ואת זה אני אומרת עכשיו שכבר מגנתה את הסרט של ביני, אז תאמין שזה כבר מוצא כבוד פשוט עם פעם היה ג'סטי, אני מביאה אותם פעם של ביסית. Comrades, it's a potential free voting for people who take uh, strike action today in defense of their pensions and tell them the largest coordinated strike action ever seen in the UK. It's crucial to reinforce why people working in the public sector are being forced into this corner. The UK economy, like so many other countries across Europe and the rest of the world, is in crisis. The manager from Westminster and David Cameron has been to tell us time and time again we are all in this together. We must all share the pain of this economic crisis. But why the hell should you be shared the pain? You did not create this crisis. Look around us here today. Thousands of people that provide essential public services joined in collective protests. The teacher that did cause the crisis. Neither did the nurse, or the school janitor, or the refuge collector. Well, capitalism went crazy over the last generation. You are treating your sick, educating your children, and caring for our most vulnerable. Do the job that capitalism wants to do. Many people, many people from across the private sector, also join us today in solidarity through their own growth coalition and we can see that across the other construction workers that have been welcome here today. Hard <laughs> working people, hard working people like the engineer or the construction worker, they didn't cause this crisis here. And comrades, neither did the ordinary shop floor worker in the high street banks. Many of whom come from our union's finance sector and have joined the ranks today across the country. Everyone knows, everyone knows what the ground lies of this economic fire we find ourselves in today. That lies squarely to the corporate class who gamble the loss of every facet of our lives, our savings, our mortgages, our pensions, the one percent. with the failure of governments. Not one UK government since 1979 can wash their hands of the, the blame of this mess. Yeah. And UK alone, successful, successful governments bend to the demands of the city. And if they didn't openly encourage it, they certainly turned their blind eye to what can be best described as corporate greed and at worst, now they're ready to come and hire them. Most strong in control is the 1% and still being allowed to get away with it by the political class. Look at the facts, comrades. The pay of the head of parties increased nearly 5,000%, 5,000% in the last 30 years. Well, average wages for you and I increase such people at the very best. The very banks which we have to bail out with our taxes paid, paid out two billion more in bonuses this year than they did at the start of financial crisis in 2008. David Garman, Nick Clegg, George Osborne and Rex Prince Cable continue to resist a financial tax, transactions tax, the Robin Hood tax. A minuscule charge for the transactions between financial institutions which, which, which would generate billions. The system works for the few and not for the many, but they was growing. The free market, casino capitalism, neoliberalism, economics, whatever you like to call it, that has failed ordinary hard-working people and we aren't going to pop it up any longer. Our pensions, 
abnormalities. The NHS pension scheme is two probably more than contributions than they do. Stay on the NHS, the average pension is just over 4,000 a year. And the local government pension scheme, the average is also 4,000 a year. And when the 2,600 for women who dominate part-time ranks. And yet, content ministers and their poodles and the popular press lie through their back teeth and tell all and sundry that your pensions are gold plated, that you're lucky you can have a pension. It's absolutely sickening. Why should you work harder for longer and for less? Why should you be forced to accept it the first day of retirement and hardship? In the years to come, David Cameron's big lie that we are all in this together will be down as one of Christie's greatest coins. But the truth is still there for us. And we're not going to be mocked by billionaires and billionaires any longer. You can't defend the politics, but they can defend the people. And everyone here today has a vital part to play. The attacking of pensions by this content government really represents the first waves of what will be a very long and sustained attack in terms of conditions of working people. And unless we want to be born in a rich man's game, we must stand up for ourselves and fight back. Finally, there are three chants that we hear more and more, uh, not just in the UK, but right across the globe. And I believe that sums up how we feel today and, and where we're going. Uh, and I'm not asking about our audience participation, I'm not glad that we have always the audience participation. One, two, three, four, we're not going to take this anymore. One, two, three, four, we're not going to take this anymore. One, two, three, four, we're not going to take this anymore. DC, cut back. DC, DC, cut back. DC, cut back. DC, cut back. DC, cut back. United will never be defeated. Workers United will never be defeated. Workers United will never be defeated. All right. Enough is enough. We're not going to take this anymore. Uh, we're fighting back and we will not be defeated. Yeah!